Dundas Square. This is breakfast television. There goes the Dundas car rumbling by. They still rumble, I think. Okay, in order to do this explanation, I'm going to bring this table with me, okay, because I wanted to show sure, you exactly you. how this works. Would you, let's just put it off to the side a little bit, because we talked about this a little bit earlier. In order to get people to stay off their cell phones when you're at a restaurant or a bar, there's a new product out, and we're going to demonstrate how it works. So show it, okay. show it to us. Let's pull it up. Here it is. And uh, yeah, so this is the glass that uh, came out from Berlin. It's uh, available there, and I believe it's available online. And what it is, it's uh, a glass that has a ridge at the bottom. Yeah. And the only way you can rest it is if you put it on top yeah. of your smartphone. Because it would, it would tilt over otherwise, so right? So we it, talked about this the other day, and it's a great way to encourage people to keep their phones down. Yeah, so let me, let me, let me show you here. So if, we, if you and I were, were sitting okay. chatting here, so Lil, chat. get a nice close-up shot right, right here. Here's my phone. All right, so the phone's here. The glass would have a cutout on it, and in order for it not to tip over, you'd have to rest it. Yeah. The exact size on your phone. Now it's a genius idea. I, I think, think it's a great idea. I think a lot of people might put matches under there or something like that. But this, but you know, the the thought is there to try and get you to, to talk to people. And I was saying that there there's a game that I play with my friends where you put we put all our smartphones on top of one another, and then uh, you know the first person to reach for their phone picks up the tab. Ah, see that's a better idea. Right. That's a much it's better idea. Smart. Uh, we're also talking about Rob Ford, right? Uh, yeah. With uh, the video uh, with uh, Bill Clinton. So just a few reaction tweets, right? I'm sure there's going to be a lot of reaction, both pro and con today for this. I know it's so, going to stir up a lot of controversy. Scott saying, I find it disgusting that Bill Clinton even knows who Rob Ford uh, even is, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> um, another one here from Joseph. Oh, no. That's all he can say. That's what a lot of people are saying. You know, here we go again. Yeah. Another one. But some of it is also pretty positive. Uh, let's, uh, Bill Clinton commented on Jimmy Kimmel about uh, delusional Rob Ford destroyed every positive stereotype of Canadians. Thank you, Bill. Well, that's not positive. That's not positive. Okay. This one is hilarious, loving Bill Clinton talking about uh, Mayor Ford on Jimmy Kimmel. Wait, well, that's positive keep either. Trotto in <laughs> okay, the spotlight. But, but keep Toronto in the spotlight. But there have there have been some positive because he still has that incredible. Groundswell of support. I, you know what? Politicians around the world want to know how Rob Ford is, is keeping the support underneath him. And he's giving a very... And that's going to be the strong point for him during the election. Yeah, no kidding. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Winston. Let's go upstairs. Here's Russ.